Okay, hi, hello, yes. So, I'm Shrewboy313, this is Dragon Quest Heroes. Uh, in the last episode, so we went into Sylvia and picked up Jessica, but she hasn't quite joined us yet. And in the last episode, I did say that I'm going to need to record this episode in two parts. Basically, this first part I'm going to record up to the point in, like, until Jessica and Yangas join the party. Hold on, further village, outside houses, gathering the fences, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and record to the point in this sitting to where Jessica and Yangus join us. Then I'm just gonna take like a little break between recordings to like just level grind everyone up to a similar level. And then I'm gonna keep recording from there basically and push the two chunks together. That was a really unnecessary explanation, but here we go. <laughs> right, here we all are again, eh? Well, that was fun. Looks like that's most of the monsters dealt with. So... Sorry, just ignore the fact that I just needed to repair one of my desk drawers while this was happening. <laughs> all we need to do now is get rid of this lot, rescue the Elder, and... Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Oh, fun, okay. Oh, also fun, okay. More than a bit, I fear. The path to the Elder's residence is beset by ferocious fiends, which means, which means we have a whole lot more monster bashing to do. Yeah. Let's get to it. Only one thing for it at a time like this. Stand back to back with your oldest and goldest. Wallop whatever comes your way and hope for the best. Yay, walloping. I hope for both our sakes you've got my back. You know I have. Let's go, gals. <laughs> Love how just Terry, Elena, and Kirill just aren't here. Ooh, there's a ballista. Oh, I can switch characters. Right, hold on. Don't you need to take out the cosmic chimera? Is that a thing? Well, hello. Looks like they've got a ballista set up here. Okay. <laughs> Kirill's head's just in the back. Right, so can I just bl where's the ki- where is the ki- Terry, go away! Where's the ki- it's there, okay. Protective bar- it ignore me, I was just- <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to get back in. I'm wait- I need to- <laughs> Right, it's gone. Move normal guy here. Oh my god. Oh, okay. This is going to be a hot, shitty mess, I can tell you that for sure. St Kirill! I don't want... Okay, I'll just shoot this thing while it's on its back, why not? Hold on. I'm doing something! <laughs> Where is the cost? I cannot even see it. Oh, it's there. Oh, it was right behind me this whole time. Right. <laughs> Come on, it might help if I actually hit it. Also, Doric is nearly dead. Right, let's go to the other ballista, shall we? And we're just gonna have to... Cosmic Chimera! Damn it. Okay. Right, let's just use this as an opportunity just to get rid of the little enemies. Come on. Come on. I need. There we go. Listen, I've gathered what I need to do, so it's not too difficult. Also, yes, I do realise that Doric has nearly been dead this entire time. Ah, 
has it. Has it because it's still there. Right, the boss troll, that's fine. Clearly you're just meant to ignore the boss troll until... Ow. Until the cosmic chimera is down. Where is it? It's there. Ah! Oh! You know what? Let's just... Ow, ow, ow. Everyone's dying. This is a hot shitty mess. This isn't going well. Right, hello. Apologies for the sudden cut there. I just had to go answer the door. <laughs> and the room that I'm in, like, that I record in, is, like, the furthest one away from the front door, so I just had to full-on book it. Where's the... Where's the cat? There it is. I had to full-on, like, book it downstairs. <laughs> Right, there we go. The Cosmic Chimera is dead, so this should be easy now. <laughs> or easier, let's say that, shall we? Oh, Carol died. <laughs> Where are it? Oh, he's there. Ow. <laughs> I really should be paying more attention, shouldn't I? Right, Doric's dead. Where is he? Where is Doric? I can't... Oh, there he is. I can't tell where anyone is. <laughs> this is a... <laughs> told you this is a hot, shitty mess. Christ. You'd best believe I'm putting all of my eggs into th taking down this. Right. <laughs> Hopefully that'll at least get rid of the monsters around it. And I'm pretty sure one of the ballistas, at the very least... Oh. One of the ball- yeah, one of the ballistas is reloaded, so we can just... Lay into this one. Lay into it from here, it's fine. See, there we go. And if we have to kill anything else, we can just clean up. See, all we had was a couple of deaths. We've never we've never had more than two in one. So we're fine. Oh my god, Wakim. Instead of Wakim. Wak God. Right, we've done that mess. <laughs> it was just because I didn't handle it well. Let's say that. Looks because like that was the truth. A breathing space at last. Just goes to show you. Teamwork's what it's all about. Oh, you can say that again. Ah. Oh, look. Someone's coming this way. Met, old friend, you escaped unscathed. Could it be King Doric? I saw that a band of brave warriors had come to our rescue, but I never imagined that you would be. Are we indeed the band? You have delivered us from certain doom, and for that, you have welcome to my band. We play in my garage every Thursday to an audience of one. That audience of one is my cat. <laughs> Please come to my garage. We don't have any fans. That was just a joke. Please don't really come to my garage. And yet, your presence in far-flung Sylvia must surely bespeak some wider ill. Do you come to warn us, perhaps? The monsters run amok in other places in our realm. The capital, even. I'm afraid so, old friend. Every corner of the land is affected. My companions and I journey in search of the cause, granting succor where we can. So, you're definitely elves, right? Well, where I come from, elves are wise and ancient. So, might you be able to shed some light on what caused all of this? Perhaps. Since we first observed the change in our friends, we have been desperately combing the annals for clues as to the cause. Without success, I'm sorry to say. <clears throat> you mean you ain't got a Scooby, eh? Somehow I didn't think it would be just as easy as walking up and asking. Love the cockney rhyming slang here, youngest. Nothing's ever that simple, is it? Wait, this monster. Do you mean me? I'm not a monster. I'm a helix. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Cute. No, I'm not allowed. No one's allowed to touch it. I 
Daddy gave it to me the last time I ever saw him. My apologies. Aww, cute. It's just that the crown you wear bears an uncanny resemblance to the circle of light. The circle of light? <laughs> so are we going to guess that that crown is the circle of light, probably? Two treasures were forged. In order that the forces of light and darkness might be kept in check. The brighter half of this fated <laughs> pairing came to be known. It's really hard to take this seriously when Helix looks like that. The light shall make the midnight bright and drive all darkness from our sight. I had thought that were we to locate the circle, we might also find a means of curing the malady afflicting monster kind. So, is Helix's crown the circle of light, or...? No. Alas, it seems I was mistaken. Let's be real, it probably is. Wears, it is a convincing replica, no more. <sighs> but it is real! It's a real life treasure! I promise! Our course is clear. If there is even a chance that this circle of light could reverse our friend's transformation, we must find it. Right. And I'm willing to bet that if we do, we'll also find out what's behind all these sinister goings on. Hey, Love me but some sinister goings on. on. Hey, finally! All after the same thing, and you know, safety in numbers and all that. I would like to play as Jessica, please and thank <laughs> you. Sorry, she like is a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I was just thinking how it'd break me up to say goodbye to little Bluey so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Then it is decided! Let us venture forth as one, and together solve the mystery of Monsterkind's madness! <laughs> <laughs> so then, what say you, friends? Well now, how could we possibly refuse an invitation like that? We're with you all the way, your majesty. <laughs> hey! So then, where to next? Well, if that isn't a thumbnail, I don't know what is. <laughs> Okay, so if I understand correctly, the circle of light is the key. The question is, how do we find it? Your guess is as good as mine. I may have a nose for treasure, but I ain't getting even a whiff of this one. Of course you aren't. It would be far too much to ask for your stupid talent to actually come in useful for once, wouldn't it? Oi, it ain't my fault, and it ain't a stupid talent. It's what made me the man I am. Settle down, you two. All is not lost. Okay, but I've just noticed, have all of the women that we've come across been redheads? Like Isla, Serevna, and Jessica, they've all been redheads. I am excluding Aurora from this. I mean, like, the ones who have joined us. Okay. Right. right, now you're talking children are light, circle are light, stands to reason this one would have something to do with the other. So where do you find the light, kids? And we're right here, y'all. Now hang on just a minute, don't tell me you believe what that cloak-wearing weirdo was saying. Until he mentioned the Children of Light, we knew nothing of them whatsoever, and I fear we may be of little help. We certainly know nothing of the Circle of Light's whereabouts, and I was getting all excited. <laughs> but if Isla's hunch is correct, we may be on the right track. If these two really are Children of Light, they'll have to cross paths with the Circle of Light eventually! Glad we decided to come along. I'm looking forward to see what happens next. <laughs> hey! And all I had to do was cough in my microphone multiple times. <laughs> see now, I wasn't the biggest fan of Jessica, spoiler alert, in this first one. Like, she returns in Dragon Quest Heroes 2. Spoilers. <laughs> and that was where I really started enjoying her there. Ooh, that sounds weird. I enjoyed playing as her there. That sounds better. <laughs> right, Jessica the whip-wielding wonder. She's a whip-cracking warrior woman who can sweep whole swathes of foes off their feet with her all-encompassing attacks. The swirling storms she whips up with whip-cracker lay into enemies with lashing lightning bolts. Aim it at a big group for the best results. <clears throat> and Yangus, the proper chopper, is a hulking hardman who packs an enormous axe. 
hold X or Y when swinging it to dole out even more damage than usual. His parallax unleashes powerful shockwaves as far as the eye can see. Use it to disable distant stragglers. Yeah, so like I was saying, like, now is a good time- oh, well, hopefully. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that Jessica and Yangus aren't, like, higher leveled than us. Ooh, everyone's got new st right, everyone's got new stuff. All of these things, like I've done it last time, I'm gonna scoop them all up off screen. And... Yeah, look, they're all redheads. <laughs> Isla, Jessica, and Isla. Isla, Jessica, and Isla, yes, all three of them. <laughs> Isla, Jessica, and Elaine. Oh, they're level 21. RIP then, I guess. Right. Anyway, off, <laughs> off screen, I'm gonna train up all the other guys to catch up. That was that, so what will probably be a while for me will be a second for you. So I'll see you in that second. Right, hello, so that second for you has ended up being like a week and a half for me. Um, you can see that people have leveled up, Yangus and Jessica are now level 22, but that was just because of, off, like, they were in Patty's place and they still got a bit of experience. But, to round out this episode, I just want to do one more thing out in the world. If that makes sense, so go off. <laughs> <laughs> the monsters have been driven from Sylvia at last. Our elven friends may breathe a much-deserved sigh of relief. Things were touch and go for a bit there, but we just about scraped through. The village should be safe now. This means four towns have now been reclaimed and secured. Arbor, Caliburg, Colosseum, and Sylvia. Indeed, which leaves only the northern stronghold of Granite to be delivered from Penel. Penel? Peril. Words. <laughs> Granite, you say? Aye, tis a cavernous citadel dug by the hardy dwarves into the very earth beneath the mountains. Given that not a single one of the settlements we have visited thus far has been spared, we must be prepared for the worst. I suspect that Granite may be in dire need of our aid, and we must journey there at once. So let's do it. Let's head to Granite. Ooh, I wonder if that little island up in the top right is going to be home to a little cave or something. Dwarves are hardy folk. Caverns to wonder to be. Great, cool. Can we go in? They're almost. We escape the monster wrath. The longer we tarry, the greater the damage may be. Let's go, girls. The fight at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, you know what? Let's go. And yeah, I'm full on gonna fight as Jessica in this section. I have no qualms about that. We're here. It's granite time. Cool, look at this cave, a bloomin' love cave's me. And if I ain't mistaken, this one's chock-a-block with treasure. Lovely. Guess you do always find treasure in caves, huh? Well, if you find any swords, they're mine. Hang on a minute, we're supposed to be defending granite, not searching for treasure. Shh, while you talk of finding treasure, we found ourselves by monsters. Cool. Right, um, I may or may have not accidentally gone too far with Jessica's hustle dance. Consi- wow, okay. Considering, um, considering half of her MP will get used up by one hustle dance. Ooh, right. And also in between me, um, between the two recordings, like, recording sessions for this episode alone, the first few episodes of this have gone live, and you know what, I am over the moon every time I see I get a comment on my channel, like, it's one of those things that I realise a lot of people, like, there are people out there with millions or hundreds of thousands, thousands of subscribers that, like, they get comments every day all the time, but, like, when you get the views that I do... Like, it's exciting every time I get one comment. Like, that is fully the truth. Right, also, I realised there was a lot going on in there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But I just wanted to get that off my chest. I just wanted to say that right. Loose behind muddy puddles to stick foes where they stand. And a mini demon. Frazzles foes with frizzle. Let's just, you know, let's just chuck him out, see what happens. Ow. 
Let's get this one again, I guess. Ow. Wait, is there more than one? Or is it just... Oh, it's just the one. Okay. Right, yeah, also, this whip, like... Normally, I'm not a fan of whips in Dragon Quest because, obviously, you know, they do attack big groups of enemies. And... Ooh, hold on. <laughs> and, you know, normally in the case of... You know, that... Oh, also, Hustle Dance. It heals everyone, that's why I wanted it. Yet, normally in the case of whips in the Dragon Quest world, you do minimal damage to multiple enemies, as opposed to a lot of damage to one. You this on also, I'm just going to be quiet while this happens. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> but in the case of, like... Hold on. Yeah, but in the case of Dragon Quest Heroes, where you have, like, heaps of enemies, like, whips are actually really useful, because you hit so many of them. Right, uh, shake down shimmy to really- ooh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, that was delicious. Oh, ho, ho, ho. See, look, just look how quickly I'm plowing through all these enemies. This is why I like Jessica. Oop, oh, wrong move. I meant to use Whip Crackle, sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, oops, did I, <laughs> I accidentally killed the Maw Keeper? <laughs> Listen, all who leveled up? Aurora, cool. Go off, girl. Yeah, I was just... I was just meaning to get the troll, not Aurora. <laughs> that, oh, it is called Closet. Okay. An Ulna. Listen, that pose just made me think of that Nicki Minaj meme, you know, the... Big boobs? What? Um, cha, anyway, that one, that's what that makes me think of. Big boobs? What? Um, cha, anyway, so. But I don't know about treasure, but we found our fair share of monsters, eh? Where are they hiding all the rich stuff anyway? Oh, will you shut up about treasure? We're here to protect a town full of innocence, in case you forgot. Entrance to granite is immediately ahead. Let us put aside to search for riches and proceed. Indeed, safety of dwarven peoples must be our primary concern. Aye, that it must, friends. We may already be too late. Come, we must hurry. Right, we're back in the stone cloud, and I'm thinking this is probably where I'm going to end this episode. Just to, like, save it from going on for too long. Because I get, when I looked at, ooh, when I looked at, like, the timings of my other, like, not, not recording, well, rec files for this episode, it was already running on a little longer than I'd have liked. So, I'm leaving this episode here. Oh, Kira leveled up as well. Yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here, and in the next one, we're going to head further into Granite. So, thank you for watching, if you did, and if you made it this far. Cheers, love that for y for us. <laughs> And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode.